definitely crazy late to the party on this one, um, because I'm just so on top of everything in a timely manner, right? Being an entire ass year late on responding to this one, but it's been a crazy freaking year in general, so, you know, it is what it is, but, um, uh, finally getting around to making my response to Paul McCartney's Find My Way music video, which just... I was gonna make this when it first came out, but I don't think I could really find enough words to justify making a video about it at the time, and every time I sat down to, I'd have like a couple sentences, and that'd be about it. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. The song itself is a bop. I don't hate it, but, um, I don't know. The video itself is odd. <laughs> um, I, I'm still, even a year later, kind of on the fence of how I feel about it. Like, I respect the creativity that went into it, and I'm sure a ton of work went into making that video. So, like, I, I respect all of that. I am not shitting on it in any way, shape, or form for that. But, <laughs> I must say, uh, it definitely falls into that uncanny valley territory where we know going into it, this is not real Paul. This isn't actually him in the video. Um, it is apparently a dude that they had that they CGI'd, like, Paul's face onto so that Paul could dance the way that he does in this video. But you can totally tell, looking at it, it's just, I mean, it's close, it's close, but there's something that just inherently, like, in your soul, you just know, looking at that something's off about it, that that's not him. That's not him. Even if no one had told me, he'd be like, no, nope, not buying it. It falls in between Uncanny Valley, but also like graphics from Beatles Rock Band. There's parts of it that look straight like they could have been out of that game, and then there's other parts that are a little more convincing, but it kind of wavers between the two. It's, it's odd, and it leaves you with like this really weird, odd kind of feeling as a result of it. And for me, I don't know, I think I found it really unsettling that it fell so in that uncanny valley. <laughs> but, um, and if you're unfamiliar with what the uncanny valley is, it's when something tries to be so realistic, but at the same time isn't quite the actual real thing, where your brain recognizes it's not the real thing and it finds something about it disturbing because it's so close but also so far at the same time. That is the Uncanny Valley. So, it very much is that to me. But, um, it's also weird seeing Paul do, like, basically what I can only refer to as TikTok dances. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, we, oh, why did you, I mean, of all the directions you could have gone with that, we, we went the TikTok route. All right, I mean, I guess they're trying to appeal to a younger audience, but I'm just. I never understood the appeal of TikTok, sorry. No shade, no no hate meant, but I just, TikTok is not my thing. <laughs> I have tried to understand, I just, I just don't. <laughs> I guess I'm too old, but um, regardless, regardless, it's just weird seeing fake Paul move like that. Although, although, Easter egg in the video, fairly early into it, if you watch the background, out of one of the doors in the background in the hallway, you do see real Paul come out of one of the doors and kind of scurry across the hallway for just like a second. But he is technically in it, so, um, he is technically there. Um, and people kept mentioning it. I forget how many times I had to watch the video to spot him and felt really dumb because I was apparently looking at the wrong spots. <laughs> and didn't even catch him. He was hidden in plain sight the whole time. But anyway, it's like, where's Waldo, but with Paul? Where's Paul, though? Ah. Anyway, um, so there's that, plus the mismatch in that visually this is looking like young, like, approximately 1964-esque Paul, but we have modern Paul's voice coming out of him. That, I feel like a little teeny bit of studio wizardry could have made the voice sound younger. Maybe not as young as Beetle Paul, but I mean, 
I, I have heard some of his tracks get remastered to where, maybe remastered is not the word I'm looking for, but you know what I mean, but edited in such a way to where it takes like at least 30, maybe 40 years off of his voice like that. And I'm like, damn, I don't know what you did, but holy crap, that's cool. Because <laughs> it's like convincing when I've heard that done. Uh, so I feel like if they'd done that and put it with it, it would have maybe sold the whole image more, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But, like, there's just a lot of things where it's like, you're so close, but it, it's not quite it. It's not quite it. It doesn't quite hit. Like, I don't know. It's it's odd. But again, I don't hate it. I, I can't even count how many times I've gone back and rewatched it, but it just... It's a very strange video. <laughs> and then, like, towards the end of it, it starts turning to, like, a silhouette that's, like, a glittery silhouette of Paul dancing around. I don't know, I get, like, total Michael Jackson vibes from that, which, um... Interesting choice, given who bought the Beatles catalog that Paul is still working on buying back. Yeah. Yeah, I, I found it interesting. I don't know if that was intentional. I don't know if that was accidental. But I was like, oh, interesting choice. All right. I mean, if it was intentional, okay, I mean, Michael kind of stole stuff from you. Now you're stealing from him, but he's dead, so he can't fight you. So, all right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I got a little bit of Michael Jackson vibe there. Um, and then at the very, very end of it, very last bit of the video, they pull the mask off, but it's Beck, <laughs> who did play on the track. But, um... It almost had, like, a Spies Like Us feel to it. Because remember that music video? That was kind of, like, the whole gag. The whole video was the pulling off of the masks and being somebody else. But it felt like that. But at the same time, also acknowledging the fact that we all knew this whole video. That ain't really you, Paul. Like, it's self-aware. And again, I respect it for that self-awareness and that little poke at itself. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I still, a year later, kind of have mixed feelings about that video. I'm kind of curious how everyone else is feeling about it a whole year later. So let's have a conversation down in the comments. But yeah, those are my thoughts. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you'd like to do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.